Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brett Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. You take a look at the Thunder. These guys have been getting it done pretty much everywhere in the midst of a good stretch here. Back home again. Could propel them to another win. And the atmosphere in this building is incredible. And as that win streak continues to grow, the fans' excitement has grown right along with it. And now we've reached that point where it's considered a frenzy. Too long in the paint. He's hit with a three-second violation. And Greg, taking a look at this one here tonight. The clash. The guard positions really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. Oh, nice job there from Holgram. His guys appreciate when they're open, he gets them the ball. Leonard on the wing. The shot goes in. First shot, first basket. And Kawhi is certainly one of the strongest players in the league at that position, just doing damage. Pass to Dort. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Over Harden. Harden with the defensive effort. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Spins. The kick out to Westbrook. On the wing, George. Five to shoot. The Clippers need to get off a shot. And here's Harden for three. Nice defense from Giddy. And here are the Thunder now. It's a three-point game. And here we are watching Jalen Williams. Trent, there's a certain calm to his game, isn't there? Yeah, he's comfortable because he really can do a lot of things on the floor, so there's nothing that's going to really shut him down. It's very hard to speed this guy up. He gets an opportunity to play at his pace. That's a gift. To the paint. Kicks it out to Harden. A three-pointer off the mark. On the wing, Giddy. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. And the Clippers, one of the more efficient three-point shooting teams, Greg, in the NBA. And Kevin, really, over the last decade, that's been one of their most consistent traits. And it's not just because of talent. They're smart about the shots they take. In regard to the Thunder, they had to go through, Greg, a rebuilding process not too long ago. Yeah, it was a tough couple years, but they had a plan in place and did it the right way. They made some smart signings and created a very balanced roster. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Paul George making his last shot. The Thunder with another miss. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the D has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull the trigger. Now, here is Harden. They know he's going to give him a lift with his scoring. He's averaging 16 points a game. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Pass to Giddy. Gilgis Alexander with it. Here's Dort. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. Flippers leading by three. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. The kick out to Westbrook. Takes a shot at the elbow. Here's Leonard. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Nice teamwork. The right guy ends up with the ball in his hands. And Kawhi finishes that possession. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Giddy. And the three off target. And it's Leonard at the elbow. Here's Westbrook. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Left side Williams. Back to Giddy. 
and he uses the glass on the way. Getting assertive and getting inside. And so George will bring it up for the Clippers. They're getting their first look at the Thunder in this one. And even though they were the better team overall, they actually lost the season series against this club a year ago. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whips on that. And Gildas Alexander gets it to go. What a move by Gildas Alexander, using his agility to beat that contact. As to Leonard, lets it go with a three. Dort grabs the miss. Here's Giddy. And they're unable to get the time basket there. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Los Angeles on top. They lead by three. And for 2K Sports, we'll be back here at Paycom Center right after this. It's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Boy, the, their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. They couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. Here's Joe. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Zubats. Left side, Leonard, for the three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. And guys, if you don't control second chance opportunities, you don't control your fate. That has to be their key takeaway from that one. Well, maybe they went into that game thinking rebounding not something they needed to focus on. They absolutely did. And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss, that kind of energy not wasted. Here's Harden, and the shot is long. Thunder trailing by three. And you look at the Thunder style of play, very fast paced. And because of that, they put up a lot of shots. And their goal really is to overwhelm you and wear you down. Of course, they allow plenty of shot attempts okay. as well. And now the latest is from our reporter, David Alden. First personal foul. Thank you very much, Kevin. First Oklahoma City is a franchise that has to have patience. Seven. Coach Mark Daniel said there's no schedule. That's the biggest thing. There's a way of operating that we're very confident in and that we're going to bet on. And that's developing, having a good environment, and All trying cool. to play a style that scales forward. We're just going to keep our head down. Kevin, back to you. And keep going straight ahead. All right, D.A., thanks. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Paul George making his last shot. Joe. And off there. He misses his first shot of the night. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. One thing you marvel at is Paul George year in and year out. I wonder when Paul George goes into the offseason if it's more tinkering and sharpening all those skills or if he's trying to add something. Because I don't know how you add anything to how versatile a player he is. Williams a screen. Pass to Williams. Fires from deep. Dort misses. Los Angeles leading by five. Here's Leonard. Nice defense from Dort. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. Now here's Williams. Pass to Dort. Here's Williams. Shoots over Zubats. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. And there's the call on Lou Dort. That's his first foul. And the next one puts him in the bonus. 13 foul. And the Thunder making a switch here. Substitution for your Thunder. Chet Holmgren. Leonard with the ball. 
and we know he can score. He's averaging around 21 and a half points a game. All George. Good on the three-point shot. George has got the lead up to eight now for the Clippers. Court vision on display from Leonard sharing the ball. The big part of this game. Unable to get the ball in bounds, they get called for the five-second violation. One fifty-seven left now here in the second. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Tries the spin move. Let's it go. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. His shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. Well, that's how to protect the rim without fouling. Force him into an awkward release and a bit of an adjustment on the layup. Thunder trailing by eight. Pass to Giddy. Here's Micic. That's good, and so Giddy with the assist. Micic has got his first puck of the game, and he's on the board for three. Harden outside, pulls up, and that one hits back iron. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. There's 47 seconds left to play in the first half. Shot clock at five. Outside, George. Offline with his three. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. To the inside. And that one drops for him. Assisted. And at six points oh, for Kawhi Leonard. Nice play, George creating for others, just manufacturing some points. They worked hard to get this lead. Can't start giving up easy slams all of a sudden. Yeah, GA, that's right. And that was easy. Gift wrap for him. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard gets let down. And here's George. Oh. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It goes on Josh Giddy. Kawhi, pretty solid from the line. There's been a natural progression to him being effective from the free throw strike. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. So it's the Los Angeles Clippers heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They played the better game so far, but their work is far from over. Right back after this break. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for the Thunder. They trail by seven. Inside. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Thunder will retain possession. Still Thunder ball. Here's Holmgren. Good. A nice assist for William. Holmgren's got the first points to start out the third quarter for Oklahoma City. Clippers leading by five. And taking a look at the L.A. Clippers, Brent, a team that just keeps coming up short, unfortunately. Well, the Clippers have definitely been more competitive lately, and it's kind of like phase two for them with this group. They still haven't been able to get over the hump, and they have some work to do. Well, interviewing former players, they say what they miss most is the camaraderie. What about you, Brent? I would say, Kevin, right behind the camaraderie is another C word, the competition. And there's no doubt that there's only a few ways that you could ever feed that. Playing at the highest level, being a member of the National Basketball Association, that's something special. George with the ball. He's picked up by Holmgren. Thunder trailing by three. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. 
Thank you, Kevin. Paul George is one of the game's premier two-way wings. He says, I believe in my talent and what I can do, but I feel my job is to make everybody better. That's what I try to do when I'm on the floor. Just make the game easy for everybody, whether it's creating or just being aggressive and making reads off of that. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, David, let's the game come to him. Well said by him. Thank you. Now, here's George. After the miss from Chet Holmgren. Now, here is Harden. Ball scoring in this one. As crafty as they come, Harden uses that tremendous body control to his advantage. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. Oklahoma City trailer. Here's Dort. He puts up decent numbers on a nightly basis, averaging about 10 points a game. And he can't bank that one in. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. And it's Paul George with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Gilgis Alexander with it. Leonard picks him up. Holmgren in the post. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. 13 foul. Outside Williams. Back to Holmgren. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Team starts the second half missing all four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? Here's Gilgis Alexander. Paul George making his last shot. Pass to Dort. Driving inside. Here's Holmgren. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Holmgren's got six. Some heads up ball there from Dort. Right side George. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Gilgis Alexander. That's a two pointer. That one rolling around and rims out. Clippers leading by seven. Greg, we were just talking about Chet Holmgren, and he's a lot tougher, I think, than his frame might indicate. Physically and mentally, he does not back down. In fact, he's often the one who initiates contact. You think you're going to bully him? He's going to try to bully you. And first time of the game called for Oklahoma City. 136 left to play here in the third. Pass to Giddy. Now Holmgren. Zubats defending. Holmgren in the post. Can't hit from in close. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. Down low. Nifty move. And he lays it up and in. Holmgren's got six points in the quarter. And, and once Holmgren gets the ball in there, he can finish in so many ways. And George, here we go. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. Outside for George. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. He got off to a terrific start from the perimeter, but in the second half, he can't seem to build on that early success. Now, here is Harden. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. George with the bucket. George has got the lead up to nine now for the Clippers. Out to the right wing. Fifteen seconds left for the third. Here's Dort. Westbrook with the steal. To the middle. Outside for George. 
from past the arc. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. Looking good at this point, but wanting more. We've got more in store for you right after this. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And it's Harden with the ball for L.A. Inside. Here's Zubats. And the dunk by Zubats. Love to see Zubats attacking the rim, staying involved offensively. That'll be a five-second call. And that is just a deflating error on his part. Yeah, he knows he shouldn't have made it, and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him. Now, here's George. Back to Harden. And Harden with the start. All the way up. The beard. Well, those were two loud points. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it in bounds that time. It's really been a tale of two halves, hasn't it, guys? Uh, as far as taking care of the basketball, immaculate at halftime, but he's had too many miscues here in the second half. Now, here's Westbrook. Out and out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. That'll be a five-second call. And, and three turnovers in the fourth. He's not making things any easier for his team. Here's Harden. A three ball. Rebound by Williams. And you know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. And that's going to be a turnover. They call for eight seconds. Yeah, they're starting to go in the wrong direction in terms of turnovers. It's slowly becoming a problem. Clippers leading by 13. Hundred on the wing. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Well, the defense very attentive to him in the first quarter, but he's finally gotten loose in the second and making them pay. Unable to get the ball in bounds. They get called for the five-second violation. And that's just a careless play and part of the reason right now they're trailing. Harden gets the bucket. Not a single point in the first quarter, but he's found his game, and you can tell he's got a bit of his swagger back. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. That'll be a five-second call. Guys, hard enough to win in this league, but when you continue to hurt yourself because of miscues, it makes it all the more difficult. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. The three. The Thunder pull it in. 
And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. And they call the eight second, second violation. Two. Too much time getting it up court. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. To the right side. Westbrook with a wide open look. That ball's nice feed that time from George. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it in bounds that time. What do you think of the league's most recent CBA, Greg? That seven year deal just signed. Oh, Kevin, the NBA and Players Association both need to be commended. Labor peace through the rest of the decade. Most pro sports don't have this kind of stability. That'll be a five-second call. All you have to do is point to their turnovers this quarter. There's a reason the scoreboard looks like it does. 